As video game technology has improved, so has the cinematic quality of the games themselves. Instead of bopping random pixels off each other while sitting inches from the screen, we get lushly rendered landscapes and beautiful, realistic vistas to bop characters off instead, which makes central stories all the more impactful. Developers have gotten more creative and adventurous in their storytelling as the years have gone on in the interests of investing players into their narratives, like heart-wrenching portrayals of life and death in desolate futures and literally being a goat that licks things. Still very emotional, though. The point I'm getting to here, though, is that it makes the impact of surprise reveals all the more poignant when we're truly involved in these worlds. From crazy twists that totally shook our understanding of the very universe as we know it, to character revelations as convoluted and horrifying as Ewan being Jules' son and monstrous creation, each of these reveals blew the minds of everyone in a two-mile radius. And of course, in a list like this about surprise twists, oh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it, there will be some spoilers, so don't be that guy, because nobody likes that guy. So lock your head firmly onto your shoulders as I'm Ash from What Culture Gaming, and these are 10 video game reveals that blew our minds. 10. Resident Evil Albert Wesker is a double agent. Albert Wesker might now be one of gaming's most iconic villains, but this wasn't always the case. In the original 1996 Resident Evil, Wesker was introduced as an ally, the leader of Alpha Team and the captain of Stars. Throughout the game, it becomes clear that there is a traitor in your midst, and team members are being steadily picked off with their brains suspiciously intact. Shortly after learning that the Umbrella Corporation are behind the twisted experiments that have made this residence so darn evil, it's revealed that Albert Wesker is actually a double agent secretly working for the conniving company. This kind of character betrayal has since become a very common occurrence in video games, but back in the day it was quite the surprising revelation and pretty upsetting to be honest. How could you, Wesker? How could you? 9. Final Fantasy X Tidus and Auron are dreams Love it or hate it, the Final Fantasy series has been entertaining RPG gamers with some serious haircuts and turn-based combat for almost three decades now. Final Fantasy X brought the franchise into a new era of detailed 3D graphics, greatly enhancing the cinematic quality despite dividing the fanbase with regards to the quality of the story. In particular, the lead character of Tidus had a tendency to annoy a lot of players thanks to his whiny self-entitlement and dodgy voice acting. I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... wasn't I not supposed to... The plot itself was fairly absorbing, though, thrusting Tidus into a future where a beast named Sin is devouring civilization and machines are considered sacrilege. It's revealed at the very end that Tidus and badass guardian Auron are physical manifestations of a dream, along with the city of Xanakand that they came from. The whole mind-blowing thing is probably most appropriate here since this one was mainly just confusing. Surprising, yes, but also, what the heck just happened? No one knows. 8. Metal Gear Solid 2 No Solid Snake, only Raiden now Is there any video game character more widely loved than Solid Snake? He's gruff without falling into the annoying angsty anti-hero archetype, he's badass without being cloyingly masculine, and he's got an awesome, fleshed-out backstory to boot. Ah, oh, what a man. And Hideo Kojima knows this, so it was a big deal when gamers realised that they'd had the rug pulled from underneath them. Not an hour into Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty control switch from the iconic Solid Snake to a rookie agent named Raiden. Rather than being a simple side mission, it was soon clear that Raiden was actually the main character of Metal Gear Solid 2, a punch in the gut to many that had been waiting two years for the sequel to get right back into some solid shoes. You could say, for all intents and purposes, that fans got snaked. <laughs> oh, moving on. Now that the shock has worn off a bit, many have looked back more favourably on the not unlikable Raiden, but no one at the time was prepared for this bombshell of a revelation. 7. Bioshock Infinite Elizabeth is Booker's daughter Ken Levine's games have a strong tendency to surprise gamers right at the very end, in a way that reshapes how we look back on the journey that's been taken to that point. In the original Bioshock, the surprise ending brought into question the nature of free will, turning the entire plot up to that point on its head. 
Bioshock Infinite features a similarly crazy reveal when it's shown that Elizabeth is actually Booker DeWitt's daughter. Not only that, but the reason she can open rifts in space and time is because she exists in two dimensions at once, after Booker handed her over to Comstock. In just about any other game, a twist like this would seem to come out of nowhere for shock value, or for Bioshock value. I'm gonna stop doing that. Bioshock Infinite's revelation somehow manages to be both emotionally satisfying because of the game's focus on Booker and Elizabeth's relationship, and mandatory for explaining how the entire story was kicked off in the first place. 6. Call of Duty Black Ops – Reznov is dead The single-player campaign in Black Ops offered one of the better stories in the mixed Call of Duty franchise, with the undeniably cool 1960s Cold War setting. It was also possibly the most ambitious taking place over different time periods and personalizing the main character of Mason enough to make him interesting. Much of the plot revolves around a series of black operations carried out by the CIA behind enemy lines. An important character to the story is Viktor Reznov, a Soviet defector who befriends main character Alex Mason. The story is filled with twists and turns, but the biggest is the ultimate reveal that Reznov, who had appeared at key moments throughout the game, had actually been dead for years. Alex Mason had actually been hallucinating and acting out as Reznov the whole time, as a result of traumatic brainwashing. Wait, what? 5. Dead Space – Nicole was a hallucination Dead Space is a survival horror game that has almost everything going for it. With a fantastically moody aesthetic, original gameplay and a constant sense of underlying dread, Dead Space managed to reinvigorate the genre when it released back in 2008. In Dead Space, main character Isaac must navigate a zombie, alien-infested spaceship. He's not completely alone, though, if we ignore the giant, bloodied, limb-wielding monsters, as over the course of the game, Isaac is helped out by his girlfriend Nicole, who is a medical officer aboard the Ishimura ship. At the end, it's revealed that the real Nicole had actually committed suicide long before Isaac had even boarded, and what the player had been seeing were actually hallucinations brought on by the marker in an attempt to further its objective. Pretty mean, to be honest, and one of the bigger what-the-heck moments in a series defined by trying to shock you. 4. Assassin's Creed – It's a computer simulation It would have been a mistake for Ubisoft to turn this plot point from Assassin's Creed into an endgame revelation or unexpected twist. Instead, they made it clear from almost the very start that the whole thing is actually a computer simulation, and it is a fundamental part of the story and the series. For those who hadn't been paying much attention to the pre-release material and interviews, the revelation that this wasn't just a game about a medieval hitman was a big surprise. The box art and main TV trailers hadn't advertised that this was actually a pseudo-science fiction tale, so the result managed to completely subvert expectations if you were happily ignorant in the grand scheme of things. The fact that the Assassin's Creed series takes place entirely within the Animus device has since become well known, but the idea was hugely novel at the time. Three. Heavy Rain We've been playing as the Origami Killer all along. Heavy Rain is just about the closest video games have ever come to making you feel like you're playing through a proper Hollywood movie. Decent acting, impressive graphics, and a compelling storyline that continues regardless of your success or failures makes Heavy Rain a game that was ridiculously hard to put down until its shocking conclusion. While there are several story elements that were affected by player actions, one remained the same – the identity of the mysterious origami killer. Red herrings and false clues were planted everywhere, and many players might have clued on to the killer actually being one of the player characters. The revelation that this identity actually belonged to the likeable Scott Shelby, an asthmatic private investigator, was a real shocker. Heavy Rain revealed it all in a masterful way as well, letting players play through Shelby's memories in order to find the origins of why he became the origami killer. 2. Halo Combat Evolved – The Flood Halo Combat Evolved is revolutionary not just for its open level design and exquisite gunplay, but also its storytelling in the first-person shooter format. There hadn't really been a grand sci-fi game on the scale of Halo ever before, and certain aspects, such as the Halo rings themselves, have since gone on to be hugely iconic. The rings aren't just pretty to look at, either. For most of the first Halo game, their true purpose is a mystery, one that Master Chief and friends are keen to unravel. Around the middle section of Halo Combat Evolved features a strange level that's one of the most unnerving of any game. 
While searching for Captain Keys, Master Chief comes across the Flood, a terrifying parasitic race that is able to infest other sentient life forms. It later emerges that the Halo rings were designed to destroy all forms of life within a massive area, in a last-ditch attempt to subdue the Flood threat. The Flood would go on to be the main antagonist of the series and one of gaming's most terrifying alien races. And of course, they teach not to go poking around any giant rings. You might not like what comes out. 1. Silent Hill 2 James killed his wife Still arguably the best survival horror game ever made, Silent Hill 2 is a masterclass in terrifying design, weaving psychological terror with jump scares to make for a horrifying experience. Later games in the franchise were never quite able to live up to it, although Silent Hill 2's legacy has ensured that it is repeatedly near the top of the best games ever lists. Silent Hill 2 is all about James Sunderland and his journey around the titular town, which has been overtaken by a mysterious fog filled with monstrous, deformed creatures and deadly terrors. Sunderland was drawn to the town after receiving a letter from his deceased wife, who claims to have been waiting for him there. As the game goes on, though, the monsters get more twisted and the themes become darker and events appear to mirror Sunderland's troubled subconscious. Later, it's revealed that Sunderland's guilt actually comes from the fact that he killed his wife. She was terminally ill and it's left unclear as to whether it was an act of mercy or out of unbridled resentment. Jeez, James, real mood killer, that. And that's our list. What video game reveals or twists have blown you away? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture Gaming. Make sure to subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this. And don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. Thanks for watching.